Alright. It's in here. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Membrio? You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these Rose Gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. <laughs> Do you remember that? Be up to my ass oh, in his areas. Um, my brother actually makes Membrio, which is a quince jelly that you eat with cheese. Membrio means quince. Well, you sure it doesn't sound like, like it. it. <laughs> oh, Membrio, that's different. Yeah. What'd you think I said? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> what a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. Hmm. How's business? How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in Elmaro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubakava. Hmm. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Hmm, can I help? Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. <laughs> How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old car on a joke. <laughs> Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, Membrio? You? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain of death within death, their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. <laughs> I just, that reminds me of, um, what's, the, what's the old joke? I have my father's eyes. Here they are. <laughs> and Rio, why do you stay in town? Ooh. Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. You don't believe? You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time where you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well... Don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Hmm. How was the lighting handled on the characters in each environment? Does anybody remember that? I think, uh, however, we were able to set up a couple of lights. I think that was that yeah, was it. I mean, there wasn't there some information that that you guys would take the set because then we have to save a copy of of our sets with like you know the key light and the and the fill or, or just we i thought we would save a version of the, the very simple that's possible yeah as as a like a starting starting place but i mean it was all very kind of rudimentary and you had to be really strategic with yeah. you know what's the what is the best use of uh, a minimal amount of lights to accommodate the character in the entire scene that he's got to be in yeah there was no i mean for all this stuff there was no roadmap or procedure for like oh this is how you do 3d forests or light character i mean we had to make everything up and solve every problem 
to get everything to happen pretty much in this. Um, so there's a lot of just on the fly, different people figuring stuff out per scene, how to, how to make something work. And as a result, some things work better than others. Hmm. Hang on. Just gonna, there you go. Did slightly distort my window there. Um, so what's down? Hang on. I'll go back for the Z. Hang on. Going down. Woo! Ah, I see. Set that I destroyed, that that I destroyed two weeks of Garov's work um, <laughs> by trying to learn how to 3D model, and somehow I ended up erasing two weeks of his work because uh, it was the the fish place that that you had to redo. Oh yeah, the elevator. Yeah, the elevator and that that place with the fish. Hmm. So for some reason, it's marked. It marked it as well, that's the back to where we came. Okay. Marked it as sort of red, but it wasn't. So that's why it's important I will get them all. Or well, at least I play them when I see them. We definitely should give a huge shout out to, to Peter Chan, and yeah, I'm still jealous of that guy. Chan He's the man. I know, just when, when those packages would come, it would just be like Christmas, and you, you'd open, yeah, you'd, you'd see those, and, and you'd just think, oh, man, and he's a nice guy, too, you the, know. The weird thing about family. that mm. was I never experienced, like, the delivery of the package oh. firsthand, but I still got excited about yeah. it. No, they're beautiful, and he's such a, such a sweetheart. Okay, what's over here? Aha, sea bees. I assume. Oh. This is where I didn't even, I had never heard of actual sea bees before, and someone made that. I talked about the, how they could be these bees down there, and they're like, oh, like sea bees. And I was like, what, what are sea bees? Yeah, they were they were a, na a navy thing, yeah. And wait, does that come from the letter CB? Like, something I don't know. For construction brigade or I, something? Yeah, good, like, like Jeep comes from general, pers general yeah. Uh, personnel vehicle, yeah. Could so, be. and this bee is called Terry because of the character from On the Waterfront. Marlon Brando's mm -hmm. character named Terry. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where we got all that stuff. Oh, let's talk to. Oh, hang on. Oh, come on. There was one just there. Let's go backwards a bit. Oh, uh, there. That's Raphael Sparge, who um, he was actually the uh, the main character in Knights of the Old Republic okay. um, in the original game, but. Uh, Raphael is a big on camera guy and yeah. hadn't really done a lot of voiceover and there's a scene later on where he's addressing um, all of the workers and the thing about Raphael was that <coughs> he physically performs when he's in the studio oh, right. so as he was addressing the field he kept on going off mic and so the engineers like oh we got to keep him on mic and so I said you know I said hey Raphael you know can you stay on mic he's like oh really sorry really sorry we re-rolled, and all of a sudden his energy just went. Oh, interesting. Down, and so it, was just, it just wasn't working in the same way. So yeah. we pulled out another two mics and put them out. Oh, so that's that, great. So that he could then go, you know, you are the fat cats of industry, and he could kind of move his head, and we yeah. still caught it. And so then we just cut around um, the three tracks to get the, t oh, the that's final so take. Oh, so crazy. Yeah. But he, yeah, he's a great actor. Hmm. There you go. Secrets of the industry. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Yeah. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look 
after us, little guys? They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hmm. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a mm -hmm. big conga line of hustlers. All laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Hmm. Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, man. It was straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution it makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. <laughs> if the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah. yeah. What can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Yeah, since you're not using since your... you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever going to work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, mm. I told you. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Hmm. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Maximino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Yep. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, sea bees and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah, forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Sounds like I need some inspiration. Maybe some words from some words from um what's his name? Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Hmm. Manuel. I am sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient and let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! Ah, he still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Le Mans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Le Mans, Manuel. And be careful. I'm gonna try and give it to him. Dear okay. friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Maybe I'm wrong, I can't give it to him. We've discovered a hmm. new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. 
it's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay. But I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It is not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. Hmm. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel. For you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. <laughs> Agent Calavera, I have word that you are... This uh, okay. I thought you gave it to him, maybe I'm wrong. Right, let's go back up. Let's go see Glottis. Oh, let's go to the Blue Bass Casket actually first. Oop. Oh, and, oh, and I'm sorry, Garb, this is the, the yeah. set that you had to build this twice. This is Garb's, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the one. <laughs> this was the gift that kept and on giving. And it's actually very beautiful, I might add. Yes, well, a second time is... Two kind, yeah, the second time I can but I'm, I'm sorry, you, you were saying that that was a real building. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where? Was that in Spain? Uh, that I think it's in Paris, I think. Oh. And I remember seeing a photo of it and being oh, like, wait, Peter. Uh, no, uh, good artist, <laughs> borrow, great artist, steal. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Ah, that's what I've got to give to him. Yeah, let's see if we can find where that thing was. There we are. And then, for some reason, I was always really interested in beatniks. <clears throat> beatniks and reds. I think it, says it was so foreign to me, like the, um, the red scare was not part of mm -hmm. my actual life, but it always seemed like this thing is, it's hard, it's funny. It was always funny to me to imagine how passionate people were about that, how big oh, of yeah. a deal it was for them. And it was always so, but if, if from a safe distance, it was just kind of entertaining. Like, oh wow, people are like, we're really concerned about uh, communists everywhere and unions and. No, I'm, I, I remember there were when I was a little kid, there were people who would t still talk about communist plots in all seriousness. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Morgan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. Hmm. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist... This is who I have to give them. Is you, our comrade. Those when messages too. All the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police, and the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Be it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera, a great <laughs> ally in this noble Man. revolution. <laughs> you really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Hmm. Now let's see if they're gonna give us the book. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Yeah. Put it away. What's up here? Lola? 
What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. <laughs> here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to What's happened to her head? Feelings. Did you just see it as a rule? But I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. <laughs> Manny. At last we're alone. Tell me. Trust me. How are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps. Don't start. What are you doing like a snake like me? What, what, what is he doing? I don't think you'd get it. <laughs> Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. <laughs> I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Wow! <laughs> Open mic night seems like a big hit. It Oops. always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. <laughs> Oh, come. Okay. Alive. We slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried. We wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. Rubbish. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. A little dark in here. here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while, but then I just decided to ask my boyfriend Max to buy it for me. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Oh, she's shaking again. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. That's it. Just the dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Mmm. Final version of the game are the backgrounds actually just pre-rendered flats? Yes, they are. See, that's that's yeah. amazing to me because you know we live in the world of 3D now. And we're used to floating the camera around inside of these things, but you know once you chose your camera angle to pre-render something, that was it. There you go. No, it's it's Manny walking around in a blank 3D room with Z depth uh, data to clip him in front of the um, the stuff that he needs to clip in front of. Mm. The sink is full of dirty hookah water. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much around here. Well, yeah, I mean, you haven't got any skin, so... I don't really need a bunch of cleaning supplies. Nothing in the dishwasher. 
Okay. Ooh. There's a hint for what to do with Naranya. Well, whatever his name is. Let's have a go on the mic, shall we? Just to finish things off. There's that spotlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this was another, like, we lifted up the, uh, or took the uh, technology from Render Droid, which was in Jedi Knight, but uh, it didn't have spotlights at the time. It just had directional lights and point lights. So. That was actually one of the very first things when, uh, yeah, first when thing I got, did. yeah, when I got hired onto the team, uh, uh, which I was brand new to LucasArts, and uh, Tim and Brett brought me in, and um, my first thing I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in spotlights because I know how to do that, and and it's gonna matter, and uh, that that'll be my stake in the ground, uh, and this was one of the first scenes I worked on that that had spotlights, so yep. when Manny walks off stage and you see the light. You know when he walks out of the light. Um, that was a, it was a pretty important moment. Everybody thought that was pretty cool. I was like, all right, I did something. I'm in this amazing project with this amazing team, and I did something. <laughs> all right, who's, who's ready, ready to, to rock, rock and roll? roll? <laughs> Maybe later then. Okay. okay. So what, what is, is up, up with airplane, airplane food, food anyway? anyway? Is he trying to be funny? I mean, it's, it's so small and. Not, Not that, that good. good. There's nothing funny about being dead, comrade. Life is pain, death is worse. My funny bone must have fell off in the hearse. <laughs> Anyone out there know where I can find some tools? Try the docks, brother. Hey, can anyone out there help me get into the Maritime Union? Hey, we're into organizing labor, not sabotaging labor. <laughs> good evening. I like, like to read a poem. Sing it, sister. For what purpose? My teeth. Do it. <laughs> Go, baby. Yeah, baby. Grotesque. Oneness. <laughs> I'm not laughing out of joy. Can you hear me saying nothing? You said, you said this to me in your sleep. Alone. Clam bake. And tomorrow? I am sick. And in so being, I am the healthy one. The end. We hear you, daddy. Hmm. I was a, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Right now, Otis going up. Alright, and I think Glottis is downstairs playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> 